So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So uh, last week, on my last time lapse video, we ended that video with uh, taking a look at that burnt out supercharger for the Mazda CX-7. So uh, I got this on my lift here. The parts finally came in uh, Friday afternoon about 2.30, 3 o'clock. And uh, I worked on it the rest of the day. I've got the, uh, the new turbo already up in there. Um, look, you probably can't see it, but the new one's up in there. I just got a, probably another hour and a half to button this up tomorrow on Monday. But uh, I figured it'd be a good chance to come in here and do an autopsy on this old turbo here. And if you look, I remember we showed you last time just how much play this thing had. Uh, and it also has a ton of... Uh, lateral play which is kind of strange so uh, I figured we'd uh, we'd pull this apart and see what's going on in there um, not sure exactly why this turbo failed this vehicle only has about 80,000 miles which which isn't a lot of miles for a late model vehicle um, you know some of the turbos in like uh, like the Saabs and Volvos and those kind of turbos those things will go what 200 300,000 miles without a problem but uh, something happened here, and, and I'm not sure what it is. So uh, I figure at nothing best, it'd be a good chance to just pull this thing apart and, and look at what makes a turbo work and how it works. So uh, let me get set up, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what's really going on right, here, guys. guys. I got you up here on the head cam. We're going to bring back the pointy finger, and uh, let's pull this turbo apart and see what we can see in here. Let's uh, got my trusty micro lithium drill ought to break this thing down pretty quick so let's start by taking this uh, wastegate actuator off and we got that off now what this does is uh, actuates this little flapper valve and lets some of the exhaust gas bypass the turbine here so uh, you know, you don't make as much boost, or when, it, when a certain boost limit's reached, the PCM opens the valve, a valve that controls this valve, opens that up, and lets the exhaust bypass the turbine, which controls how much boost this ultimately makes. So, we get that out of the way. Let's uh, probably pull this, separate the uh, turbine half off of here. this comes apart without some trouble. I need my trusty hammer. There we go, we got that apart. It came apart pretty easy. Well, we can see a little bit of shiny on each one of these fins. That means it was crashing into the housing, the turbine housing. Look at all that oil. So that's where our oil was getting in. There's a seal and a thrust washer under here and it looks like, uh, looks like that let go. Let's get this uh, compressor side apart. You too, man. See you Monday. I think that's captured in that housing. Probably gonna have to pull that nut off. Hopefully that comes off without a fight. Looks like that's a reverse thread nut on that turbo. It was still tight. Now, hopefully this doesn't fight me taking it apart. Let me 
smaller hammer here. Now, like I said, this turbo is completely garbage with no core. Normally, I would not take this apart like this. But, for terms of the video, that's how we're going to do it. Interesting. Well, there we go. That's pretty much apart. You can see, you can see all the grooves where that uh, compressor wheel was rubbing onto there. That was my, that's where the noise was coming from. Let's try this go. Oh yeah, look at look at the wear. Look at how grooved in all of those compressor veins are. Neat looking compressor though, even though it's machined down to nothing. Feels like uh, feels like it's made out of titanium, which makes sense. And uh, look at all that coked oil. Look at that. Now uh, I definitely know that this turbocharger didn't have didn't have an oil getting to it issue because the thing was smoking it was just blowing oil into this exhaust and this thing like like I think I mentioned in the last video this thing would smoke so bad that if you let it run for 20 or 30 seconds in the parking lot you, you couldn't see any other cars out there but uh... See how, see how far apart we can get it look everything's all grooved all the grooves Well, I don't really see any kind of indication of uh, anything but maybe just that thrust bearing failed, which would be all of this stuff here. What a mess, huh? The seal. Yeah, the seal's completely chewed up. You can see all the all the wear from where this was crashing into the uh, the turbine housing. So it looks like it was getting oil. It looks like it was definitely getting coolant. I don't really see a lot of coking going on. You I mean sometimes when you you're really hard on a car on a turbocharged car, or you just shut it off. You'll see a lot of burnt oil everywhere. But that's what this would be. This would all be coked oil. But this is right in the exhaust stream, so that makes sense to have it coked on there with all the blow by it had. So it looks pretty good to, to put the, oh, the new one in. Um, like I said, I was kind of afraid that, that maybe there was an oil supply issue getting to this or a coolant supply issue getting into the center section, but it seemed like it was getting everything it needed to go. It just up and went. Well, there it is. That's a uh, late model Mazda CX-7 turbo. All ripped apart, nitty gritty and dirty. Uh, normally you wouldn't really bother taking these apart um, you can get a center section and, and put a center section in but uh, I think with this turbo the way that the uh, that that vein was captured behind this plate probably would have made it really tough to to rebuild this so uh, this is actually this Mazda is actually uh, owned by one of the used car places right down the street uh, they knew I used to work for Mazda and that's why they kind of went to me on this one but they supplied their own turbo, they did their own diag, but yeah, this turbo was junk to begin with. And look at the look at the wear. Look at the wear. So anyways guys, I figured just a short little video tearing down a turbocharger, because that's not something that you do every day. And uh yeah, let me uh get cleaned up a little bit here. Yeah, so anyways guys, well that head cam's hot in a day like today. So anyways guys, that was just ripping apart a dirty old blown turbocharger because you know, one of you guys asked to, to rip it apart on the last video and uh, I like to do what you guys want to see. So anyways, if you guys uh, have anything you want to see me take care of, I kind of want to do, I'm thinking on doing another toolbox tour video because uh, I've actually upgraded my cart and, and uh, I've made some, uh, some recent purchases. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a toolbox tour video next if you guys want to see that. But anyways, guys, I gotta uh, I gotta get cleaned up and go about my Sunday. And until next time, keep it out of the cabbage.